back to my channel. My name is Atisha Pina here. Welcome. If I sound a little, you know, weird, I am sick, okay? I just got back from vacation and your girl is sick. Anyways, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how I master this wet look and how I mastered it on vacation. In the Caribbean, it's like muggy type of heat and your hair frizzes and all that good stuff or bad stuff so i'm going to show you how i tamed it the entire vacation how i got it to stop frizzing and stop poofing up so if you're interested please continue watching oh, i legit had this hair wrapped up in this bun for two days and also i'm going to leave the link of the hair in the description down below so right now what i'm going to do is hop in the shower and wet it we're just going to get the plane and everything off of this hair and now i'm just trying to untangle it a bit with my fingers this side and then when I get to the bottom like how it has like those clumps I just leave it because I'm gonna brush them out while it's wet I feel like it's easier that way it just makes more sense that way so this is the hair all messy this is what it looked like when I came out of the salt water and it was dried okay so this is legit same thing all matted and tangled and I just use my fingers to like get most of the tangles out of the top. So I just topped out the shower and I just put it in um, the towel. So it's pretty damp. And then the braid that I did accidentally came out. So now this is wet, but it's okay. So I conditioned my hair with the olive oil conditioner. It's the strength and nourishing replenishing conditioner. And it's in the sweet orange scent. It smells it smells so good. So first, I'm going to use the Sleek and Shine Anti Frizz Serum from Garnier. I legit just put one pump, and then I just go through the hair. It smells so good. I just run it through your hair. And then I'm just gonna do it on this side. One pump. And just rub it through. Cause I want my hair to have like that shiny look to it as well. And then like just get the bottom. And so when I was conditioning it in the shower, I just legit pulled it out. So this is not even like the hair is not even brushed yet. And then I just take the remaining oil. Cause you don't want too much oil on your leave out. I can have some hair on my hands, but it's not that bad. Like you would think it'd be more for curly hair. I take Ozzy. Sorry. There we go. This is the Ozzy Miracle Curls Curl Defining Oil with coconut and jojoba oil. And this I love. I love Ozzy products for my real hair and my extensions. But Garnier, if you want your hair to smell so good, use that. So this is it. In my hand and then it just defines the curls so you just want to and this one is pretty thick the Garnier one is like more of like a loose watery texture and then the Aussie curl is a bit thicker which I like and look it's just defining the curls even more yeah, you want to condition your hair before I show you how I get the wet look all day I'm telling you this hair when I was on vacation, I got mud in it. When I went into ATVing, I got chlorine from the pool. I got salt water. I got sand. You name it. Jerk chicken sauce. I got everything in this hair. So this is legit the best. Leave-in conditioner or leave-in cream from Garnier. It's a citrus scent. There we go. Not any more than that. I put a lot of leave-in conditioner because I want it to last all day. Like I want my curls to look like it's wet all day, right? So I just go through it. If I'm looking over there, I'm just looking through my mirror. And apply it to your leave out as well. Alright. More leave-in conditioner you put in, 
the less you have to put gel and wrapping mousse or curling mousse because if you put a lot of gel and curling mousse it just makes your hair like dry and crinkly and like stiff and you don't want that so put as much leave-in conditioner as possible keep combing like with your fingers you know and then do the ends tell you all I didn't even brush it yet so y'all <laughs> wait till I start brushing it so now I'm gonna do the other side so yeah put a lot I'm gonna do the front and my leave out okay and just a little bit more and this is for the back there we go let me stand back for you and then just go over the front of your hair There we go. And now I'm gonna show you how I have it <coughs> staying curly all day, and then how I tame the front of my hair from like sticking up. I start with the top of my hair because I kind of want to like cover like the tracks here. So like you're just gonna, if you want the slick back look, that's the look I was going for. Slick backs suit me better, but like. Depends on how you part your hair or how you did your leave out or if you even have a leave out. But this is what I do. And I like brush my hair to blend in with the curls. Because my hair is wet, right? And you want it to dry like with the curls, so like I brush it. Like the way I want it to fall is the way I brush it. So on vacation, my mousse broke. But I'm gonna show you how I finessed it. The cap fell off, but I kept it. I saved it. Don't worry. So I'm just gonna like put it back on as if it was, you know, still intact. Shake it up. You guys know how to use mousse. And then I just pull it. But you gotta use a lot of mousse, okay? A lot. I mean, you don't have to use that much if you put a lot of leave in conditioner, but you still wanna like have that wet look. So I just like go like this. And then you want to put it on the top of your hair that you're leaving out. No, because we're going for that slip back. Like I just came out with pool, but that's what I'm going for. <laughs> and you just like apply it to the top and then work your way down, okay? Like I do the sides that are left out and then I just, you know? going all the way to the bottom and you just you know, keep going work it work it work it all the way down and then that's it that's legit it that's all I do and then you just want to brush it out a little just to like you know get the curls defined again Now, I'm just gonna finesse the top of it. I didn't do baby hairs every night. Like, I didn't really care for it. I just wanted to look like I came out of the pool. When you come out of the pool, sometimes you don't have baby hairs. I'll show you the eco styling gel that I have, but I brought it in this, and the, legit, this is all I use. Like, I barely used any gel. So, the one I have is this one eco styling gel. This is the one with argan oil in it. I legit just every night, or like, during the day, if like I was going on an excursion and I wanted the wet look, this is all I did. I took it like a little bit, I put it in my hand, and this was only to make sure the ends of my hair blended. That's all. And now I'm just gonna like slick my edges a little bit, a little bit. So I just put some of it here, but this is the edge control that I use. I can't see there, so I just like, I legit don't put a lot, just, so I'm just gonna just do my edges there, like,
That's what I'm doing. And then, one more time, make sure this is blended. And that is it. I'm gonna get ready, show you guys what it looks like in a bit. That's it, y'all. That's legit all I do. So I'm gonna wrap it down or tie it down and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Don't mind the quality because I'm recording from my phone, but this is what the hair looks like by the end of the day. I'm getting ready to shower and then head to bed. So it still stayed like how I wanted it, like that wet look. And then I think for tomorrow, I'm just gonna brush it out so that it's a little bit like more volume to it. But yeah, so this is what it looks like at the end of the day. It still has its wet look pattern. The more mousse you put in, the better. Like it's gonna last all day. I should have put a little bit more at the top. I feel like I put a lot at the bottom and it stayed a little bit more wet, but this, this is fine, like, I don't mind it like this. I will leave a link down below <clears throat> um, of the hair. I'm still sick, y'all. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!